Hello guys, welcome to my channel Swati Farmagnan Sharing Knowledge. Today's topic is Calcium Channel Blockers. This topic is there in RGHS cell for both Form D and B Form semester. First we will see the introduction of calcium channels. There are four types of calcium channels have been identified in the body. The four types are L type, N type, P type and T type. These calcium channels are present in many tissues which are relevant to the nervous tissue where the entry of calcium into nerve terminals plays a key role in cardiac functions, muscular functions and neuronal functions. So these calcium channels will act as a gates for the influx and outflux of the calcium. When the influx of the calcium takes place, constriction or contraction of the various cardiac muscles and the muscles and the neuronal membranes takes place if outflux of the calcium occurs then relaxation of the muscles occurs calcium channels will regulate the intracellular concentration of calcium ions this calcium channels will act as a gates for regulating how much amount of the intracellular concentration of the calcium should be maintained for the proper conditioning or pro proper balancing of the body can be detected by calcium channel. First type is L type. The location of L type calcium channels are they are present in cardiac smooth muscle, cardiac muscles and smooth muscles SA node and AV node. Functions are they will regulate the excitation and contraction coupling pacemaker activity and also conduction velocity. The second type of calcium channels are N type. The location and function is they are located in synaptic terminals, function in the nervous system. They also function in the heart and kidneys. They are very important in neurotransmitter release. P type calcium channels which are located in axon terminals and neurons of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The functions of P type calcium channels are it is a neurotransmitter and hormone release at synaptic terminals of excitatory and inhibitory synapses occurs by this P type calcium channels. T type calcium channels are present in brain, peripheral nervous system, heart, smooth muscle, bone and endocrine system. The functions are it will control the pacemaking activity of the SA node within the heart and action potentials within the thalamus. What are calcium channel blockers? How we can define this? The drugs which block the calcium channels and are used in the treatment of various cardiovascular diseases are called as calcium channel blockers. How we can classify calcium channel blockers? We can classify into three categories based on the basic nucleus or the side chains which are present in this calcium channel blocker drugs. The first class under calcium channel blockers is phenyl alkyl amines. Under phenyl alkyl amines examples are verapamil, bepridyl hydrochloride, verapamil and bepridyl hydrochloride. Phenyl, phenyl group is present, alkyl side chain is present, to this alkyl side chain amine group is present that is structure or that is the basic of first class of calcium channel blockers that is phenyl alkyl amines. Second class of calcium channel blockers are 1 comma 4 dihydropyridines. Pyridine ring is present to that pyridine ring at first position and fourth position hydrogen atoms are present that is a basic nucleus or the class of calcium channel blockers or the second class of calcium channel blockers 1 comma 4 dihydropyridines examples under 1 comma 4 dihydropyridines are nifedipine, amlodipine, um, nimodipine, felodipine and nicardipine. Third category of calcium channel blocker drugs are benzothiazepines. Here the benzene ring is fused with the thiazepine. Example is diltiazepine. Example is diltiazem hydrochloride. Now we will see the structures one by one. First structure is verapamil. Verapamil is the structure under first class of calcium channel blockers that is phenyl alkyl amines. So here two phenyl rings are present. To this two phenyl rings two methoxy groups are present at third position and fourth position. Consider this position is the first, second and third and fourth. 
to the next side of the phenyl ring also at third position and fourth position two methoxy groups are present here at first position ethyl group is present to this ethyl group one amino group is attached to that amino group again butyl side chain is attached to this butyl side chain to the first carbon of butyl side chain one cyanide group and one isopropyl group is present that is the entire structure of verapamil next structure is bepridyl hydrochloride bepridyl hydrochloride contains two phenyl rings these two phenyl rings are attached to the amino group one phenyl group is directly attached to amino group another phenyl ring to the amino group with methyl linkage now this amino group also contains propyl group to this propyl group at second position pyrrolidin ring is present and here oxy bridge is present to this oxy bridge isobutyl group is attached that is structure of bepridyl hydrochloride hydrochloride is attached to this drug to increase the bioavailability and also absorption of the drug in the patient next class of drugs are 1 comma 4 dihydro pyridines this is 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine basic nucleus first structure under 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker class of drug first drug under 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine class of drugs is nifedipine nifedipine contains 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine what is pyridine six membered ring containing nitrogen is called pyridine and at first position and second position hydrogen atoms are present that's why it is called 1 comma 4 dihydropyridines to this 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine two methyl groups are present at second position and sixth position two methyl esters are present at third position and fifth position and at fourth position nitrobenzene is present amlodipine is the second structure amlodipine also contains 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine to this 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine at second position methyl group is present and at third position there is a methyl ester and at fifth position there is a ethyl ester and at sixth position there is a side chain and this side chain is ethyl amino group and methoxy group together formed one alkyl side chain and at fourth position there is a chloro benzene chloro benzene is attached nimodipine is another structure 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine is common second position and four, sixth position contains two methyl rings two methyl groups third position and fifth position contains methoxy ethyl and methoxy ethyl ester methoxy ethyl ester is isopropyl group is attached to carboxylate group isopropyl group is attached to carboxylate group that is attached at fifth position and at fourth position nitrobenzene is present that's why nimo nimo indicates nitrobenzene is attached at fourth position next structure is phenylodipine phenylodipine also contains basic nucleus 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine two methyl groups are present at second and sixth position here ethyl ester and methyl ester are present at either side of the 1 comma 4 dihydropyridines dichlorobenzene is attached at fourth position of 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine next structure is nicardipine nicardipine contains 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine ring to this 1 comma 4 dihydropyridine two methyl groups are attached at second and sixth position and at third position there is a carboxylate group attached to ethyl group and n methyl group is present this n methyl group is attached to the phenyl ring with one methyl linkage and here methyl ester is attached at fifth position and at fourth position nitrobenzene is present diltiazem is the third class of drug that is benzo thiazepine drug benzene ring is fused with the thiazepine what is thiazepine seven membered ring containing two hetero atoms that are sulfur and nitrogen epine is the suffix for seven membered ring sulfur is present then prefix thia we have to use nitrogen is there then az we have to use so this is completely benzo thiazepine derivative you one methyl ester is attached at third position at at second position there is a methoxy phenyl ring fourth position carbonyl group is present and at fifth position ethyl amino group is present to this 
ethyl group dimethyl amino group is attached that is structure of diltiazem coming to uses of calcium channel blockers they are used in the treatment of various cardiovascular diseases like angina pectoris to treat supraventricular arrhythmias to treat hypertension to treat migraine to treat renards phenomenon all these uh, for all these treatment we can use calcium channel blockers thank you all